Hello. I'm muted, so hello. I try that again. Take two. Hello. I don't know if I was muted before, No, but you were now you were not muted. you get You just another get double hello. Yeah. double hello. Got a double Brianna hello. Um All the way across the salt. Brianna, are you ready to play my favorite video game titled We Have Not Done Salt Cravings in Three Weeks and Oh God, I Don't Remember Any of the Voices We Did? Um, yes, uh, mostly because I also have a slightly sore throat, so were all of my voices Oh. maybe slightly different than they were before? Um, <laughs> we got new voice who knows? actors. Sorry? We got new voice actors. Yeah, new voice actors just dropped. Where are we? Um, hmm? Where are we? Oh, we're in the, 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 uh, the... New town. We're in new town. A new town. We entered Uh huh. a new town. Oh, that's a door Uh, right it's a there. new place. Oh, right. Oh, right. And I, okay. Yes, yes, We yes. had a whole This conversation, is. which a bunch of witnesses definitely heard. <laughs> so many people. Uh, is this a door? See, now I'm suspicious of every little thing. How is this a door? But the, like, anyways. Uh huh. No, it's Anyways. it's that's games. It's this video games. Uh, we're the front line of the battle against the Ogres of the North. We never knew when the Ogres are going to attack Arella. What? You want to go further north? I wouldn't recommend it unless you like being chased down by Ogres. This doesn't like Ogres. I, this is, that's the town. I remembered what town we're in. Oh, right. Um, This town hates Ogres. yeah, this town hates ogres. This is the anti-Shrek town. Um, oh no. Claire, I am worried. First of all, thank you. Uh, I'm worried that uh, we may end up in a circumstance in which Oh boy. we may engage with an ogre character. Um, Oh no. and I am worried... About trying to do a Shrek voice, or presumably Are you you, gonna since do I, a Shrek voice? I, it's the ogre. What are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? Okay. Oh. There's already a sword that's better for Caius. Didn't we, like, spend Didn't a lot we of just time get on a puzzle? a good one? Yeah. We found one in a specific room that was, like, really good. Oh, this is... So This is only a thousand. It's forty-eight damage more. I need. Holy shit! Okay, I'm getting that one. I need to get these freaking items. Um, Yeah, there, there is no you gotta way. come back with the other. You gotta come back with the the others to get them stuff. Hi, Fen. Hello, Fen. It has been forever. Um, I am just gonna buy all of the best things here because last time I didn't buy things, it was like, um, you have to wait. Uh, and, uh, then we ran out of time, so Mhm. Mm I'm not mhm. doing Mm that this mhm. time. Mm Um, Yep. we have one of these, we have one of these, we have one of each of the good ones now. I think. Nice. Okay, I started playing, Good. um, Moonlighter for the second time, uh, last night, and I don't know why... This is reminding me of Moonlighter, but it is heavily reminding me of Moonlighter. I respect that. Um, I also don't know why it would be reminding you of Moonlighter, but I respect it. Bad Um, UX, bad menu UX. I see. I I'm see. sorry, I understand. Moonlighter. Sorry to Moonlighter. Rift Moonlighter to Moonlighter. is. Can you remind me what that game is? Um, so the concept of Moonlighter, so it is it's a cool concept. I just don't like how the UX, like for the menus, works. Um. is at the daytime you sell thing that you sell things from dungeons and in the nighttime you go into dungeons and it's a roguelite um Right. and you can go into dungeons during the daytime and it's like easier but you get shittier things Right. um I remember now. Okay, yeah yes. and then you're like building the town up you you know the you get stronger weapons more potions etc etc Yeah, this makes sense. yeah Um, yeah, it has been forever and a day, Fenrir. It has been a very long time since last we saw our heroes. Yeah. Um, Wow, are I you feel like excited? in a lot of our worst foot forward games, Um, whenever I say our heroes about, like, the main characters, I'm like, but are they really heroes? And this is, you know what? I'll give this one one thing. I feel like these are the good guys. <laughs> Except I mean... Arya. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> Thank you. convinced about Arya, but the rest of them, all I said, I do I think they're I'm always not convinced doing the about right thing? Caius. What? I am not convinced about Caius. Listen. 
I I have my qualms with Caius. I guess he's a teenager. The, he's allowed to be a little shitty. Like that doesn't make him like a he's an also, objectively comparatively, bad person. He's not that shitty. <laughs> He's just a kind of a buffoon. He's not... Oh, bedtime. Where are we supposed to go? I don't remember. Oh, I guess this is where we were supposed to go. <laughs> okay, you have to do this. Oh, wait, Father... you're playing both of the other characters. Oh, God, no, okay, can, right. We're that. in I can just be We're in Claire's people. character zoom <laughs> zone. So, you want me to do Father Norton? If you want, I can be Father Norton. No, I will, I'll spare you having to talk to yourself that much. <laughs> um, okay... Hmm, Remember, what is you're, what you're is Father priest. Norton? I'm a priest. Yeah, I'm a priest. This is important. Um, I am a priest. That's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Norton, and I am the priest that serves the people here. I'm Caius. A pleasure, Sir Caius. I recently returned from Bognum where I was trying to educate the ogres. No! <laughs> but when the subject of religion came up, they became rather violent. Oh my god. I was quite heavily wounded. I'm gonna die. I cannot believe this. Missionary work is pretty tough. I'm gonna kill Caius. Um, <laughs> never mind. We're all the bad guys. But now that my injuries have healed, I'm preparing to return to Bognum. But there's one last thing I must do before I go. I absolutely must return these scriptures to Sir Coram the Knight in Eastgate. These scriptures have been passed down through generations of the Coram family. They had been badly damaged, but I took on the task of restoring them. Unfortunately, due to my missionary work in Bognum, the restoration fell behind schedule. But I finally finished my work in the last week. I'd hoped to deliver them to Sir Coram post haste. But I'm embarrassed to say the injuries I received from the ogres hinder my ability to travel. I cannot make such a long journey. In order to continue my missionary work as soon as possible, I need to give my body time to heal. Sir oh, Caius- just a side quest. Sorry, go on. Is there any way I might convince you to deliver these scriptures to Sir Cora Miniscate? Do we want to deliver the, side the quest. scriptures? To Sir Coram in Eastgate for the priest that was trying to civilize the ogres. Um, well, um, well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, um, <laughs> listen, Claire, I, okay, do you want to hear the two arguments? Do you want to hear the two arguments? I don't know if I do. What are the two okay. arguments? So here's the first argument for one side of the, for doing, here's the argument for, Wait, for, I'm for, so excited to hear this. Wait, let me start with, here's the argument for not doing uh -huh. it. Right, it is okay. morally reprehensible. Yeah. <laughs> it is wrong. Uh, utterly and completely, it is wrong. Um, it doesn't even seem particularly in character for Caius to do this. Right, um, right. It's also not particularly in character for, like, Forrest to agree oh, to this. Truly uh, not. It's like, it's, it's, again, it's morally reprehensible. It's not good at all. Um, and it sucks pretty much entirely. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so the argument for doing it, um, is, um, we haven't had any side quests, and, like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I know we didn't do lots of side quests in the last ones, but we did some side quests, and side quests are kind of fun, but, you know, it's just kind of fun to do side quests, and it was a side quest to, like, a little go off and do a little mission and stuff. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's the argument for doing it. Oh, I have another <laughs> argument for not doing it. Right. Um, it's gonna be really annoying and, uh, not uh. fun, because you're gonna have to go out into the wilds and, like, fight, do uh, all these random encounters true. just to go back to a place yeah. that I'm pretty sure Eastgate's somewhere you've already been. Um. Maybe. And that's gonna be really annoying. Hmm. So that's I, I feel that's like the this argument. is strongly weighted towards no. I think you could argue that. <laughs> you know, I don't like to be prescriptive. You know, I like to be <laughs> you decide what's I'm not trying to railroad you here, Claire. I'm just saying if you do it, it will be morally reprehensible, wrong completely and utterly. Right. It's out of character, it makes yeah. very little sense and it won't be uh -huh. fun. Right. But if you don't do it, you'll miss out on a side on a quest. Side we quest. haven't done lots of side quests. I'm gonna go say I'm gonna go ahead and say no to the Catholic Church for once. 
Okay. I see. I'm afraid I've exhausted my options. Should you change your mind, please do let me know. And that's how he defeated the Catholic Church. God, Priest Greg. Oh, <laughs> uh, Priest Greg. Oh, uh, God. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Should I, I should just start talking to people, right? Sorry? Yeah, probably you should just start talking to people. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have a feeling there's a lot of side quests here. Uh-huh. Um, do you want to be merchant? Do you want me to be merchant? That was a lot of free. Sure, also... I'll be merchant, but if we ever get back to it's all of right. us talking to these people, you have to take over their voices. <laughs> Great. Um, so... One thing I was shocked at is that that was the first Middle English uh, voice you did for any That's of not the Middle English. Whatever. It's Irish. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking Irish at first, and then I was like, you haven't done like a Middle English voice. And I don't no, know I have, no, listen, if I do uh -huh. a Middle English, I'm saving it if I decide to do a Middle English voice. I'm saving it. <laughs> it's gonna be the dragon at the very end or something. I don't even know if I'm going to do a Middle English voice in this game. I haven't done a Middle English voice in Salt Cravings yet, in terms of the, the streaming uh, right, stuff. Right, yeah. So that's I got to really use it right. You got to really um, save it, yeah. We haven't done a lot be... voiced games, though. This is the first yeah. like, non-spotlight one, I think. Yeah, totally. Um. All right, Merchant. Um... Oh my, what's a kid like you doing way out here? Did you run away from home? I'm 15. I'm not a kid. Ha ha ha, sorry about that. I meant no offense. Where did you come from? Um, from the south. Oh yeah? And where are you headed? Uh, we're planning on going into the desert. The desert? Are you serious? Let me give you a word of warning. I wouldn't try to cross the desert if I were you. That place is a dead land. Countless adventurers have set out in search of lycanth relics. But you almost never hear of anyone finding any lycanth treasure. Lycanth treasure? Dead land? What's that mean? What? You haven't heard? Listen up then. The ruins of the Lycanth capital lie in the heart of the desert. Laymorn. The city fell into ruin during the Beast War. Those ruins are all that remain. After the Beast War, the water dried up and now grass and trees won't grow there. And that's why they call it the Deadland. But... Lemorn is still out there in the desert? Yeah, it's still there. Hello and good night, Julia. Hello and good night. And I uh, thank you. I also hope the tales are talesy. I think they will be. The tales Looking forward tales to talesy yeah. tales. Talesy tales. That's my new NPC. Anyways. And even now, adventurers still seek in hopes of finding seek it in hopes of finding Lycanth treasure. Thanks for the info. That was sure something. It's a normal guy. What Thank do you, you. mean? <laughs> it's just a merchant. Definitely not a robot. There, no. What do you mean robots? We're in fantasy times. All oh, right. This That's is just a armor. blacksmith. Yeah. Um, you guys came from the south, right? What's going on, Jana? We've been hearing some unpleasant rumors recently. Is it worth going there to do business? Uh, that was short. And see, now I just gotta talk to everybody. Alright, you. Do I wanna stay in the inn? No. Wait, actually, do I? Not without everyone in my party. Try talking to everyone and then... Yeah, and then stay yeah. in the inn if that, if that doesn't work. Oh, that's a fair point. Like, staying in the inn, we might, like... Actually, I have a feeling it's this one I'm supposed to talk to. Probably. Oh, maybe not. What? You need something? I can't let you through here. Ognum is too dangerous because of the ogres. Sorry. Okay, well, it's not him. Hello there. Is this your first time here? In that case, let me teach you how to cook the local specialty. Beef stew recipe. It's not the hot pot one that we throw random things into, at least. Um, mm -hmm. There isn't any shoe hot pot this week. 
Uh, we saw all the ingredients here. Eat up. Now then, down to business. Uh, it's now a, a food person. Food person. Welcome. Anything I can help you with? There are no messages for you right now. Please leave a message at the beep. Beep! <laughs> Am I just supposed to leave? Is this whole Did thing Did you like... talk to this? Did you talk to both of these people? Um, I did talk to one of them. No one's allowed to... Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think I just have Maybe to Maybe you're leave. just supposed to... Are you supposed to sleep? Yeah, let's save and then sleep. And God, I wish we, I remember what happened last time. God, I wish we took notes. I mean, I we do have. There's a video. What do you I mean? Could, I could watch the video. Ah, uh, try taking a nap first. Yeah, let's, uh, you know that's that's my first line of defense. Oh boy, what is that music? Have we never rested in an inn yet? <laughs> no. That's really we, funny. We relied on caffeine mostly. Um, yeah, so that, did, that didn't work. That didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think that did anything. Um, oh, well. I have a feeling so, that this is the answer. To field. Oh, it was the answer. Yep. Oh, right. Tilkis is me. Okay. All right. Yeah, yes, Tilkis they're all me. used to be Sonic, but is now something else. I don't remember what the transition was. Who did Sonic transition into? Um... Isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's just slightly deeper voice. I think was the only transition. Okay. Okay. Um, what took so long? We were just talking about leaving you behind. Pilkis, we got some information from a merchant. It sounds like Lymorn really is in the desert. That's good news, at least. Did you learn anything else? Apparently, the forest is swarming with thieves and looters Desert. looking. Yep. The dev... <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said the forest. Because <laughs> he's leaving this forest. <laughs> I don't know if that was me reading the name accidentally or like me associating back to having trauma of being lost in the forest, but my dyslexia sure did something there. <laughs> Uh, uh, apparently the desert is swarming with thieves and looters looking for Lymornian treasure. I suppose there's nothing we can do about that. It is a legendary city, after all. Arya, is Lymorn really that famous? I've only heard rumors of it. It was the primary front in the Beast War. But after the war, Eastgate was built and people could no longer go there freely. They claim the sudden appearance of the desert around the city brought with it ferocious monsters. But given the current situation, I suspect there is more to it than that. Perhaps they wanted to prevent information on the law of life from spreading. It's been a while since we've heard that. Unlike the ogres at Northgate, the Limornians weren't chased out, right? Correct. Lymorn was once the heart of Lymornian culture. That makes sense. There were never any records of humans taking the land for themselves. And the area around Lymorn wasn't always an expansive desert. Before the Beast War, they say it was a bountiful paradise. Then why is it a desert now? The merchant said it happened because of the war, but that doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure. According to one report, the desert appeared after large-scale precepts went out of control during the Beast War. <laughs> that means magic. <laughs> but there's no way to say for sure. I think that's all we're going to learn here. Let's make for Limorn. First, we need to pass through Eastgate. If we just head east from here, we should find it. Okay, let's go. Um, it's so good that they built a border in order to stop the war. That's how you stop wars with borders. <laughs> and and you know what else is true? When you stop wars with borders, as uh -huh. uh, it it leads to no more wars. That's the <laughs> end of the wars, because right. especially if it's a third party, uh, like especially a colonizing power who mm -hmm. comes in and determines what the borders are arbitrarily. Right. Um, that's how you know there's never going to be another war there. Wait, what? Who is... Oh. Should I... Hmm. Should 
Did I give Rubia or Ari? Who's on my team? Rubia was bad at healing, I remember. I'm sorry, Rubia. No, it was but... Arya who was bad at healing. What? It was Arya who was, who was like, no, Rubia would just... Ar Arya was, I think, better at healing, but Arya right. just wouldn't heal people. I think Rubia wouldn't heal people because she wanted vengeance. I don't... The... I don't know that that's true, but I think we'll find Somebody out pretty check quick. the tapes. I think check we'll find out tapes. pretty quick either way. That's fair. Um... Headed to Eastgate, so the priest side quest isn't even that much of a side quest, but still fuck that guy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Armor. There wasn't an armor person there, was there? I don't think so. Oh, blacksmith? Does blacksmith sell armor? We talked to a blacksmith. I don't know if I just, like, missed it, but, like, that was where we got the weapons. Does he also sell armor would be the only question. I, I didn't see any, but maybe I missed it. It's too late now. We, or there's no yeah, going too late back. Now. Yeah. Whatever. Can't be helped. Can't um, be helped. All right, where the fuck are we going? Um, The other red dot. Nope. This way. Some... Oh, we have to go, like, all the way around this forest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well... Sure hope there's no I random encounters. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how the fuck do you play this game again? Okay, so that's the pause. That's... Oh, right, right. Okay, great. Um, okay. Perfect. Uh, oh, it's Rubia. What? Um, Rubia's on our team. Uh, look who's healing. It's not Rubia. That's weird. That's, I thought for weird. sure she was gonna... Come on, <laughs> Rubia. I'm really trying to battle, <laughs> argue for you here. Arya sucks so bad. She You're sucks like, so bad. You could really, really make it work here. Like, your characterization... It's kind of off is kind of great, except for yeah. the weird hoardiness. The the is part where horny? you just want vengeance so bad. It's fantastic. She's horny for vengeance. She is horny for vengeance. Um Same. Who isn't really? Yeah, if you think about it. So true. Um <laughs> Focus yep, or... horny for vengeance. The <laughs> RPG. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we want Forest or Tilkus for now? We were using Forest for a while. I think we should go with Forest. Okay. I, I do like Forest. Oh, right. And then we have to pick the ones that we don't use for some reason. Yeah. Uh, just let yeah. just let Tilkus and Rubia hang out in the back. I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, isn't Tilkus like 18 and Rubia's like 14? No, Probably. he's younger. This sucks either way, but. No, it sucks. It sucks either way. It sucks either way. It must be a okay. RPG. Uh, oh, I like Turtle Guy. I like Turtle Guy. I bet Turtle Guy's. Oh, wait. I need to go save uh, Arya. Hey, where's Arya? Oh, it looks like she's healing. It's like you... I think you support Arya. I think this is the <laughs> truth. I think we're finally revealing the truth, which is that you're an Arya supporter. I support her in her job and nothing else. You support her in being a priestess? Uh, no. I strongly I... disagree. Yeah, I bet you would. <sighs> okay. This game I is normal. It is such a normal game. So normal. Uh. Thunderblade. Ooh. Make Arya learn Damn. Thunderblade. Yeah, check out Thunderblade. Make it Thunderblade. Um. It's just lightning. You just call lightning. It's just better lightning. Oh no, That's sorry, cool. it's just a, you call down a sword made of lightning. Very different from calling down a bolt of lightning. That's cool, though. 
That is, that is pretty cool, yeah. I will give the game one thing. Sometimes, actually, no, I won't even give the game that because this is just Tails. This is just like Tails, like having. It's, some it's cool a Tails game. Sometimes. You can give it to it. Well, I don't know if I would give it to like specifically this game though. Is the thing like, uh, like sure, Fair. Tails has some cool moves, but they haven't really innovated anything on this. Oh god. Yeah. True. Oh, god. Good point. Good point. God, where like the element of strongest? Yeah, it does, it does have a ridiculous element system. Listen, I've I've really been enjoying learning more about, for example, about the the TTRPG Armor of Sir, in which it has a very <laughs> normal element system, in which one thing is super effective against another thing and not very effective from another thing. Blah blah blah. And that's I just, love that. That's I just think like, that's great. That's Fire Emblem. Right, right. Well, that's balanced, and that's great, and that's right. awesome, and that makes for like good game design. But have you ever considered? But have also <laughs> consider. <laughs> oh, I got. There's man another of way. For forest. Oh. There's a man of You you can also um go about things where you have a type that's strong against itself, a type that's you know good against one other type, two types that are super weird, and all of this other shit, like truly you know i'm thinking about obviously this but also like pokemon where it's like types are not even balanced even a little bit they're not balanced no. even a little bit. i mean like psychic in gen one dragon for most of the gens until fairy fairy now yeah fairy now <laughs> steel oh yeah steel though steel is a glass cannon which is a little ironic um you know, I, I don't know that I would fully describe it as a glass cannon. I get what you mean. Yeah. It is weak against some fairly common types, but it has a lot of resistances, and it also counters fairy. Oh, yeah, I forgot because fairy. Because fairy is good, steel is good. Against everything. Oh, yeah, and there's yeah, a lot it's of good wild steel. Pig. Um, I had, like, a thought, like, five minutes ago. Oh, I believe you. Just one thought. Um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Was it about the types? Oh, it, the the whole thought was I'm enjoying knowing how armor is stir works. Going into listening to friends at the table, I was gonna say we have to uh, tick up the talking about friends at the table clock on this uh, <laughs> this um show uh, because we're talking about friends at the table again. But I, yeah, uh-huh, 100%. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, um, I like, I like, uh, yeah. I like Arboroster a lot. Oh, I it's... was gonna say, um, I guess I could say this off stream. I just think one of the player characters is basically your character in, in our game. Which one? Uh, uh, Cor Corey. Uh, I think in demeanor, not in intention. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. like, who, who was the character from Avatar that you were pulling on? Um, oh, from Avatar. It was the circus girl. Yes. Tylee. Yeah. Tylee. Well, like yeah. my favorite character from Avatar. She's great. I like her. Uh, um, yeah. In for context. In our right. game of Armorister, I am playing a robot. Um, I am playing a robot girl who wants to prove that her robot lineage of artists is just as good as the other robot lineages of like warriors and stuff. Um, what if you had family her... trauma and you're a robot? Uh huh. And her like demeanor is very like, yes, everything is awesome and i love everyone and everything's fantastic um yeah you know normal oh it's Arya fun. needs tp no wonder we're not at full health oh wow there's another enemy yeah arbor stir is actually like a really quite crunchy game it is um, yeah we haven't even got i think the it's mechanics. good once you get the hang of it but i do think it needs to probably be explained a little more than it has been oh yeah that's true like i 
truly don't know what Austin hasn't explained because like, because I'm jamming it, I have all the rules in my head and literally like I did a refresher um, the day before the episode dropped. So I was like, yeah, yeah, Austin is explaining all these things I know. Okay, I know how everything fits together. And I cannot imagine what it you sounds like You did your homework. Someone. I did my you homework. Did You've but already for, done your not for the homework show. for listening to podcasts. <laughs> I did my podcast homework, yes. Uh, it's so funny. We used to have a podcast. We had a very different type of podcast homework. <laughs> I don't think I ever considered that homework. True. Good point. Good point. Um, I do need to heal everybody. Something that I think is wild about this game that I just want to say is there is really often that we're like, oh, we've entered this city. It's going to be like they, they're they're clearly talking about this theme. So it's going to be all about this theme. And it's like, no, this is actually just a place for you to rest for the night. Um, <laughs> well, like this whole city about ogres. Yeah, no, that'll just be like you'll deal with that later. Right. It's just do you want to help the Catholic Church? And also, do you hate ogres? Right, uh-huh. But they don't even, you don't even meet an ogre. <laughs> like, I cannot, like, it's not even like they're like, oh, and you're gonna see this whole scene about people and ogre, you know, humans and ogres and how they engage and how they interact. It's like, no, there's no ogre here. We are gonna talk a lot about ogres, though, and eventually you're gonna meet ogres. But here, you're just here to kind of sleep and chat with some folks. Wait, sleep with some folks? Sleep? No, uh, mm, <laughs> let me, let me rephrase. Commas You're here to important. sleep, comma, <laughs> and also you are here uh -huh. to chat with some folks. <laughs> there, did that, did that come across in a way that is impossible to, to think is... You're here to have sex with people. Okay, it's, no, you're not? Uh, no. It's my, uh... Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Totally. I was also feeling this way, Fenrir. Sorry, um, what does it say? What, is it, what, sorry, uh, it was, what did Fen say? It's very... Okay, so you get to roll 3d6 plus 1, and I'm like, makes sense. You rolled a 6, so what's gonna happen? And I'm like, from all 3 dice, or highest 2? Was that a fail? What is the number big enough... When is the number big enough to not be a fail? Uh, I don't get seven. it. 7. It's just is that it's just a PBTA system. Um, if you but why rolling, were you rolling three d six? Because the roll either had advantage or disadvantage, and then if they're acting with confidence uh, or um, oh, what is the opposite of desperation? If you're acting with desperation, a six is a one. So if they're rolling with desperation and like um, disadvantage, uh, uh, and you rolled like a six, a five, and a five, you'd actually take the six, which is a one, and the five, which is a six. So a six, five, five would be a failure. Of course. Yeah. This, uh, yeah, none of this is explained. <laughs> no, is it not? Episode. See, yeah, th this is what I mean. It's like, I know, um, what all of the, yeah, <laughs> uh-huh, sure. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is also how thing. I feel. We haven't started playing the game yet, so I listen to it and I'm like, uh-huh, 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 yeah, sure, uh -huh. for sure. When Claire starts saying things to me, I, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will, like, probably explain it, uh, to you in our personal game, like, roll by roll, and then do the math for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but all yeah. you need to know is, like, um, Acting with desperation, I got that one at least. Yeah, I do that all the time. Um, basically, uh, confidence makes your one sixes, um, which is extremely good. Uh, as Austin says in the episode, desperation and confidence are highly regimented, where advantage and disadvantage are kind of like, feel it out. Um, like, it's very much your position and effect versus like, um, you only get confidence and desperation under specific circumstances. This makes sense. I get it. It's it's just not... Um, yeah. It, it's not... You have to hear the explanation to understand this. You do, this. yeah. Yeah. I don't know, see, the thing is, like, I don't know if I've even explained it enough that it makes sense. I get the idea. You get the idea. 
Yeah. Um, I was gonna look at Arya just learned a healing move. Um, ooh. Oh, cool. I love when Arya this learns is a healing move. not wor worth it. What? Why is it so oh. disproportionate? disproportionate if she just uses this twice it's like half the cost but more healing wait can i see what first aid nurse heal are um this is every one okay uh so it's technically like one tp more because if you triple this it's 18 um, right but this one is 50 percent for like almost four times as much that does not feel worth it to me. The right. math does not math for me it on that one. doesn't make sense, yeah. They should really... Now, here's my hot take on Tails. They should just give you a couple skills to let you level up. I know this is kind of a more modern... I don't know if it's modern. Actually, I feel like it's a resurrection of this mechanic. I feel like a lot of old games did this, and now new games are doing it again. But, like, giving you a few skills, and then you, like upgrade them um depending on like what you want to upgrade rather than having like a giant list of skills is what i mean as like opposed to that yeah that makes sense um i should probably help forest not get surrounded yeah i find that when people are surrounded they tend to get hit more huh weird um yeah yeah i'm playing um have you heard of Divinity Original Sin? I've heard of it. I don't really know it very well, but I've heard of it. Yeah, it's um basically D and D, but the uh, oh we've got we've got dialogue. Ooh, oh, cutscene! Is... Oh shit! Oh. It's is this Batman? It's, it's our squad. It's that's the Batman. That this is Batman. All right, all right. <clears> hmm. <throat> the Inquisitors. The ones from the village! The son of the Lycanthrum Fern and the daughter of Father Natwick. Give us the patient you received from the Royal Knight. It means magic. You, you killed my parents! And Caius' father! How can you claim to do the work of God when you're taking lives? Caius' father? Rami, what did you do? Uh, what difference does one dead Lycanth make? That worthless monster didn't know anything about the patients anyway. Uh, so what's the problem? Mm. It's like Batman silence. I don't think Batman's been silent in his entire life. <laughs> Just who is the monster? Hand over the patient. If you do, I'll let you go. No desire to see more blood. Like we believe a murderer. Uh, you seem to be confused. We were not the ones who killed your parents. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, the Lycanth killed them in an attempt to escape. What? Uh, we are members of the church. We are tasked to hunt a Lycanth. Why would we attack a priest? Liar! I watched you do it. I just think about it. Would Caius really oh, tell shit. you if his father was the one to kill your parents? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? That's a good point. Rami sucks. <laughs> yeah, I hate Rami. I hope this motherfucker burns in hell forever. <laughs> but since you're aspiring to be a priestess yourself, you oh, have to forgive no. him. We must have boundless compassion. Uh, he and his father are Lycanth. They're beasts. I am racist, obviously. <laughs> uh, if you can reach his heart with your kindness, I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Oh my god. You're gonna pay. My dad was not a beast. You're the one who killed Rubia's parents. And now I'm a dog boy. Now I'm a dog boy. Um, this is... Oh, okay. So... This is like... Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. This is maybe the first piece of competent writing we've seen in this... <laughs> Far. Actually, uh, there's been a couple moments where, like, listen, I, Robbie sucks so bad. Um, I, I, I hate I'm Robbie. Supposed to die here. There's no I, way. Like, this I'm looks pretty tough. Yeah, I'm taking 400 damage that I just can't. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to like interrupt. 
I think probably you're supposed to interrupt. Um, um but like, um... Rami sucks super bad. I hate this motherfucker. Um, pretty well written in terms of a character compared to other yeah. characters in this. Yeah. Um, pretty com compelling type of evil. Oh no! I killed them and I died at the same time! Wow! Okay, time to learn if that was scripted or if I have to start over. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, so... that was not scripted. I so wait, are you gonna have over. to go back to a save point? Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Rami's really good at psychology. That's like a really compel- that's a really good lie. That was a really good lie. Like, I got so angry. Oh, yeah, all right, here we go, everybody. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this video game. God. This is truly TS a worst video game. game. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, funny. This is what this a nightmare. Is... This is potentially the best worst worst foot forward game, as in the worst game we have played. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, how are you feeling about it? Um, I don't know. If other people are enjoying my misery, then I guess I'm good. Oh, I'm enjoying your misery very much, Claire. Okay, don't that's worry. all that matters. Yeah, I know you feast on my my demise. Don't forget to swap out Rubia. Oh fuck yeah. I wouldn't want Rubia to think I care about her. I did kill her parents, after all. <laughs> no, your dad killed her <laughs> parents, obviously. God, uh, what a nightmare. Yeah. Do you think Rubia's gonna be dark-moded? What do you mean? Do you like, think for Ruby's a while? Leave, yeah, like, leave the team. Oh, that'd be horrible. I kind of really bad. Kind of hope that happens. That sounds it fun. It would be very tales like that. That happens yeah. in tales. As I think we were talking with Tales of Symphonia. It's an old game. Spoilers, but in Tales of Symphonia, there's like the coolest character betrays you at one point, um, and then later comes back. Um, but like, it's uh, it does sting, especially if you mm -hmm. put all of your good items on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Which I definitely didn't do. No, that'd be ridiculous. That would be silly if I min-maxed my characters and put my best armor on my best character. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you not have a well-rounded party? Mm-hmm. Um, going back to a conversation from like 10 minutes ago, um, oh good, I learned Thunderblade a second time. Um, so I've been playing Divinity Original Sin 2 and also Divinity right, Original yeah. Sin. Um, and it's, it's D and D, but like the game is the GM. Um, like there's, a, there's rolling for initiative, there's spells, AP points, etc., etc. Um, yeah. but there's also a status effect called like, um, I think it's like surrounded or flanked. I think it's flanked. Um, and I kind of wish that there was like a flanked um, attribute here. So I feel like I can do flanking better than the computer can. Yeah, totally. I get you. Until, except for this very moment where the computer was like, excuse me, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna surround <laughs> you by three birds and a turtle. <laughs> uh huh. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. That was the whole point of bringing that up. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's important. I want the game to be better. The, the thing is, what I'm saying is I want the game to be good, Brianna. I so badly want the game to be good. You are in the wrong stream. <laughs> I... That's true. No, listen, I... The thing about these games is... Um, eventually, we're gonna encounter a series where the worst game in the series is still pretty fucking good. 
Um, I feel and like... that's gonna be a joyous mm. day. Yeah, wait. I was gonna be like, you know, the games... Okay, compare... Comparatively, the games we have played so far are good compared to this. You're, um, yeah, you're grading on a curve. I am grading on a curve, that is correct. Also, I think you're maybe forgetting how much you were suffering <laughs> through right, right. some of those games. Like, yes, Mass Effect Andromeda was kind of just a mid, like, uh -huh. RPG, I think. Fable at times was... Fable was maybe more distressing story-wise <laughs> than uh, gameplay-wise. The gameplay-wise was, was mid. Yeah. And the com I don't think we've had good combat in any of the games so far. No, we haven't. And I would love to sit here and tell you that eventually we're going to have really good combat in one of these games. Yeah. And if I had confidence that that was the case, I would tell you that. Hmm. So you're telling me that? You're telling me this, Brianna? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm not telling you this. No. Because I do not believe it to be true. Damn. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to say it, but I think we're in bad combat zone for the foreseeable future. We did have some good games in the, in the spotlight, but... Oh, we sure did. We had some great games in the spotlight. And we'll continue, I think, to have great games in the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. We have a good... We have a long list of spotlight games. It's true. It's true. You gotta have a mix. Yeah. Oh, God. Where is it? We gotta take our break in the next ten minutes, by the way. The Google Meet is back to actually telling us when. Oh, good. Wow. Maybe it was just a bug. I like to believe that. I don't. I, I like to think that Google is evil, which I'm correct, but I want, but like, <laughs> intentionally uh, antagonistic is what I mean. Also uh -huh. true, but I mean like UX wise. Yeah, for sure. Okay, how close can I get? I, I'm like, I want to like save every 10 feet. <laughs> I right, you can just save any time out here. That's really yeah, funny. That's the thing. And I, tr I just truly didn't on the way over here last time. Uh huh. Uh, so many boars. Or would you say you're bo boar? Would you? Uh -huh. Hey, Claire. Would you say perhaps? Would you perhaps say that you're bored? Can somebody tell Brianna I'm not talking to her anymore? Hey, hey guys, hey, hey, hey folks, um, why, I'm not getting anything from Claire, can someone explain to me what's good? Claire, I oh think God. you're muted. Oh, shit. <laughs> Claire, I think you're muted. Oh, Claire, Claire, you gotta be careful. Claire, there's some bad <laughs> stuff happening. I think you're muted, can you hear me? Claire, can you hear me? I, I don't know if you can hear Hey, can someone tell Claire that I don't think she can hear me? Hello? Uh, yeah, I can't hear you, obviously. Um, life bottle. Okay, I do have... Oh, wait. What? No. Did you see you sit on Caius? I sure hope I didn't. You did not. I did not, yeah. I think you've okay. selected Caius. There you go. Select his corpse. Can I not use... Okay, Caius cannot actively use... Well, why are you not... Why are you selected Forest? You gotta select Forest. Um, can you, no, can you not like use this, items when you select Forest? This is who's using it, and then that's who they use it on. So, like, oh. I just gave Arya more TP. Um, Arya's going to bring Forest back to life. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now Arya is going to use... Oh, I guess, like, Arya's in the middle of a thing, and that's... Yeah, okay. Arya's in, like, the middle of a... He's busy. Yeah. Alright. There we go. There we go. All right. I should keep better eye on Arya's TP. Mm-hmm.
That was like potentially lethal. Oh, Forrest what was? is dying again. Almost, like Forrest almost got wrecked and might get wrecked again. Arya, why are you not healing? Mm -hmm. Arya. Hey, Arya, thank you. Wait, why did you heal not... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? God, I wish I understood the AI of this game. Me too. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be. All right. All right. That was rough. That was a lot of bores. I was yeah, y'all got that... hit. Huh, Hard. Okay, I guess I will. Do you think heal you're up reaching? Can take. Hmm. Do you think y'all are reaching a level point? Like you're supposed to be higher level at this point? Mm, maybe. Okay. Once you heal up, po uh, people, we, we can take a break. Yeah. First right. break. But first, we gotta save. All right. Um, we will be right back in a couple minutes. Hey, back in a few. All right. Let's play more terrible video game. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nobody saw that. We're back. Um, right. Um, I'm going towards the door. So excited to find out when it activates. I... I'm just going to be saving every 10 feet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, I don't think I'm going to win that encounter. Though I might win the encounter this time, because I realized what I was doing wrong. Um, oh, good. Which was focusing the minis. For some reason, focusing the minis was not the answer. Uh, that's what they always say with, like, big... With, like... With uh, boss fights, boss ignore then, like, the mini. Ads. Yeah. Yeah. Just no, you're don't, supposed to don't, focus the ads. Yeah. Don't don't touch the ads at all. Just go for the boss and ignore everyone else. Uh, everyone good if I just skip all of this? Yep. 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 Okay. I'm the knight. I... Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. The Inquisitors. Blah blah blah. I'm oh, the knight. Oh no, my father. You killed. You killed. You killed. We killed. You killed. Actually, Caius killed. Dad. Yeah. Daddy kill um daddy, daddy kill daddy killed. um daddy for daddy uh, i i n nothing matters to me because i am a business person let's fight <laughs> uh all right all right mm. no i want this one no this one Ow. Okay, at least that wasn't, like, that much. Daddy on Daddy Crimes, that's absolutely, that's the um, game. Um, no. It's not, mm -hmm. actually. I've, mm -hmm. I've decided. No, that's the game. Okay. It's just, the question is, is it a Catholic Daddy or an oppressed no. Daddy? No! Or... What? Neither! What do you mean? No. The answer is no. Okay, I think I've won this now. Unless I die, then then I'm fucked. I did not die. Look at you. Nailing it. This is how you this is how you do dog boy shit. Mm -hmm. Hashtag do, just dog boy shit. This is how dog boys can still win. Oh he died. Oh. Caius! Damn. His power got the best of him again. Ugh. Oh, can't believe you pushed me this far. Robbie, we're retreating. Wait, stop! I didn't- they didn't stop. Rubia, we'll deal with them later. Caius! Forrest, is Caius going to be okay? He should be fine, but I imagine it'll take some time for him to awaken. Hmm. There's nothing we can do with him like this. Let's pitch camp and wait for him to wake up. 
Yes, I think that's for the best. Caius transformed into a beast. But in brackets. I'm in my head. Caius transformed into a beast. <laughs> that's I, I didn't realize that's the first time she's seen that. Girl, you're uh, behind. Is it? I don't... Oh, it is, isn't it? Right? Because You're was behind with, the um, curve. Yeah, he was with Arya the, the first time. Mm -hmm. um, do you think Ruby... I think Ruby is going to betray us. I think Ruby is going to betray us. I think you're right. Yeah. It's sad, and I hate I hate to say it, but I think you're right. You know what this game needed? Bad characterization. More bad characterization. I think this game is cowardly for <laughs> not like There's a ver okay. There's a version yeah. of this. I'm not saying this is a better version of the game. Right. To be clear. I, I want to make that yeah. clear. Uh-huh. But there's a version of this game where Rami is manipulating uh, Rubia, like, slightly, in a slightly um, lesbian manner. Uh, because I think they're both young women. No. They're both young I, women, right? I don't think that's true. I th Is that I not know. true? No, I, I, we, don't, we don't actually know anything about Rami, though. That's, that's, that could be true. I'm, I'm, see, we thought Rami was a businessman at first. So we That's truly true. know nothing about Rami. We don't know anything about Rami. I'm just saying there's a version of this. You just They've want lesbians, it? Brianna. And look, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. As long as it is age appropriate lesbians. Yes, as long as it is age appropriate lesbians. Um, I the ages of these characters are all over the fucking place. Oh, I feel they like are. they've said them, but I have no clue what anyone's age is. Caius is 15. I know that because he said it like. 30 minutes ago or something. Um, okay, this Ruby makes sense. is probably also 15 at that point. Um, maybe 14, because I have to assume they made cut. No, actually, I think Ruby is older than him. I think that was like an argument point. Um, so Ruby is at least 15. Um, I'm remembering that Tilkis is like 18. He's way younger than we thought he was. I'm impressed that I you remember anything was. about this. I remember Tilkis was 18 because I thought he was like 28 and he was hitting on Ruby and I was like, this is terrible. This sucks so badly. And yeah. then they like, did, they didn't reveal it at that point. They revealed it like two towns later. And I'm like, oh mm -hmm. my God, this is, le this is way less terrible. Okay, an 18 year old and a 15 year old, still bad, IMO. Um, mm -hmm. but not as bad as a 28 year old and a 15 year old. I feel like there are degrees in that sense. Anyways, I'm going to keep going and stop talking about age gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for bringing it up. I simply, yeah. it's, there's so much happening here. There, there with, is. Yeah. Like weird horniness. Um, <laughs> and it's kind Listen, of a Listen, Brianna, my life is weird horniness. I understand. Not this kind of... Your life is not this kind of weird horniness. <laughs> sure. Claire's anti-teenage lesbians. I'm learning... Yeah, yeah, I hate... I, I hate teenage lesbians. What if you're a teenager, Claire's fine with you. If you're a lesbian, Claire's fine with you. If you're a teenage lesbian, fuck you. That's called intersectionality. <laughs> Damn, I love the theory of intersectionality where you... Wait, never mind. We're not going to finish that thought because I feel like that's an actual... Anyways. Hmm, huh? Where am I? What happened? Welcome back, Caius. We were all just sitting up waiting for you to wake up. <laughs> angling our bodies towards you. Been out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mouth full of water and I almost died. I need you to know that. It would have been the right way to go. <laughs> mm. I transformed again, didn't I? But why did it happen now? I haven't transformed since Dad died. What's happened to my body? Why can't I remember much of what happened during the battle? Do I have to make him go through puberty? Like, do should I make his you voice are drop? Making it... uh... I think I'm. I think the voice is correct. I think I gave him the correct voice after all. He's going through. I think you have puberty. to start altering it though. That's tr well. I am doing a lot of voice 
cracks. That's kind of the point. Maybe I do have to go lower, and it's like I think eventually you do. I do have to go low. Okay, once, anyways. What once if next reads, time I yeah, transform, uh -huh. I attack you guys, just like Dad did back then? Caius, don't worry. You're just beginning to awaken as a Lymornian. That's why you can't control the power yet. I'll teach you, little by little. I don't know why your power hasn't manifested itself until now. I, but don't be ashamed of your Lymornian heritage. No matter what form you take, you are still Caius. Exactly. Lymornian or not, it doesn't change the fact that you're here, living your life. Thanks, Tilkis. Forest. Also, it's crucial that you understand that it's not the hormones that make you feel in a particular way. There's a very complicated social relationship between what? when one begins to awaken in puberty. Hormones, testosterone that you're experiencing now going through puberty is not make is not does not turn you into a monster. There's a complex social patriarchal relationship that makes you Oh, we're talking in real aggressive. life. I thought you were talking about the dog. No. No. Uh, no. I'm ta I'm making a joke. Oh, I see. You're saying that this is this is what the dog hormones are. They are making. Yeah, he's more going aggressive. through puberty, this and he's having the realization of right. like, the metaphor here is he's being like, but I'm becoming a man. What if I become a right. bad man? What if I become an evil man? And I'm saying, right. don't yeah. worry, Caius. I mean, it's this is not. A this is a common worry, right? When when tran trans men transition and they're injecting dog hormones, it's always like, you know, am I gonna chase yes. cars? Am I gonna... Also, yes, uh, <laughs> this game is Ginger Snaps for dog boys. What is Ginger Snaps? Claire, I need to show you this movie. Claire, <laughs> Claire, you're, you would... I it's feel like a, I learn about a new movie every it time. It is a we Canadian stream. early two thousands uh, horror oh, I'm film sold. about a teenage girl who begins at who like <laughs> who begins to discover um, she is not the person she felt that she was. She Sorry, begins, I'm just getting roasted it's, in the chat. It's prime Canadian shit. Claire, you should look up this movie. Uh, it's queer sister culture. It's uh, suburbs. It's I, it's really it's actually really fantastic. I had a really fun time watching it. I don't um, remember what movie you recommended to me. Like I think it was like during the first time we played this game. You also talked about I downloaded that movie. I have it ready to watch. I don't remember what it is. It's another like God, I wish I knew. 80s or 90s queer film. Anyways. Do you oh, want to be I think I've yeah. Rubia and Arya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I got, I got you. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you going, Rubia? It's dangerous to wander off too far. I'll be okay. I'm just gonna get a little fresh air. I won't go far. Okay, be careful. Shout if anything happens. I think she's lying. I think she's dying. She's Wait, not gonna why? die, but you know. Why is she dying? But well, she's not gonna die. But I think someone's gonna kidnap oh, her. Oh, like some inside. Shit. Oh, you. Oh, you think she? Her plot line is that she dies. No, I don't think she dies. But I think she's getting kidnapped. That would be dark. I think that would be a better plot line than whatever this game has in store. True. It would okay, suck, and I think it would still be better. Also, yeah, obsessed with. It's dangerous to wander off too far, Rubia. I have magic powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rubia. Don't tell a magical girl what to do. <laughs> they don't like that. Yeah, haven't you seen Madoka? 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 What the, how the fuck do you pronounce it again? Anyways. I don't know. Oh, you haven't, um, right? You don't watch anime. No, you do watch anime. I've Very. Anime, I haven't watched that one. Anyway, You've watched okay. Full Metal Alchemist. Anyways, go on. I've watched other anime. Okay. Caius is a lie camp. Caius is a lie morning. Can't believe Watching him fight like that was terrifying. Incredible, inhuman power. I don't know how to face Caius anymore. <laughs> Ruby, let's head back. The others will get worried. Huh? Alright, I'm sorry. I'll go now. 
What's wrong? You don't seem like yourself. It's nothing. More importantly, are you okay? M me? I I'm fine. Oh, Caius. I... I... I uh... Hmm? It's nothing. Let's head back. That was weird. That was weird. Do you think she's gonna realize she's into dog boys? I hope that's where this plotline is going. It has to be. It so obviously is. Like, I don't know. This is a JRPG I'm terrified. and they the two protagonists. I mean, yes, obviously there's a romance plot. But I'm terrified yeah. that we're gonna get racist Rubia. Oh, we like are absolute. Her. We already got racist Rubia. That You're was right. literally she, that yeah, scene. Yeah, she is literally. That is literally what we're getting. Yeah. I was worried they're gonna go farther with that. Rubia works through her racism. Is I guess her plot line. The revenge plot plot was way better. Yeah. Are you travelers? Do you ever pa Did no? That's a do. Do you ever pass through Yaska? That's where I'm from, and where my girlfriend is waiting for me. You know the, the famous song, My Girlfriend in Yaska? Yeah, Yaska feels, I know it isn't, but Yaska feels like a D's Nuts joke. <laughs> it's like, have you ever gone to Yaska? Cause Yaska these bots. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, um, I thought it was going to be like, uh, like a somehow fitting it into the word ask or like, ass anyways uh, that would have been way better that would have been better yeah that would have been way better sorry person. for failing you in this moment yeah i'm starving mommy isn't dinner ready yet <sighs> he's asleep you see yeah i obtained verbena i don't know oh, what you that is. Ver oh you got some verbena i got some verbena oh, i hey, love do that do you want some verbena i'll split some verbena yeah, yeah, with yeah. you yeah yeah can we, can we, yeah you, you're down to split it yeah, 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 yeah. Here, you take this half of the verbena. Okay, great. Yeah. Don't drop um, it though. Oh, I won't. I won't drop the verbena. Um, if you do. So, yeah, just just wondering, uh, just quickly, um, what is verbena? It's a herb with a lemony scent, increases defense. Thanks for asking. Mmm, mm, so tasty. Oh, now, I oh, love you're this you're getting herb. so defensive now. It's so lemony, and I feel so defensive. I got an opal. I do know what an opal is. Mmm, so tasty. <laughs> mm, I love this opal. I feel so defensive. <laughs> do you want to be the knight? Do you want me to be sure. the knight? Sure. I'll, I'll be the knight. The dead land of Lymord is to the east. You can't enter without permission. We've traveled a long way to get here. Is there any way you can let us through? Not a chance. Think of it as a favor. Are you attempting <laughs> to bribe? This is a bribe. Episode one of Counterweight. Uh -huh. That's a lot. <clears throat> Maybe just this once. I'd advise you not to make the journey without good preparation and a real good reason. Cool. Well, I'm glad we did that. That was a extremely hard persuasion role we passed uh-huh yeah oh hey, god i really hope that weapons. night never comes back because i cannot do this voice when i'm not sick <laughs> um oh i can make rubia better oh fucking cheers yeah does it say you have two uh yeah because i believe um aria is also using it Oh, I see. All right, let's see. What do I want to sell? Do I want to sell anything? Um, I think that making the two girls share the types of weapons they use <laughs> sucks. It does suck. We've How gone over was... this. They made the only two women on the party the supports. Yes, yes, and that sucks. But specifically, you're telling me these two girls wouldn't want different things? You're telling me they don't want different accessories? This the They're both the priests, same. Brianna. Every but, woman is a priest. Let's... All right, here's some things that women like, according to According the, to Tales game. of... 
yeah. Of the tapestry. Okay. They like being uh -huh. a priestess. Oh, I can't sell these weapons. Okay. They like they they love that religion. They love right. fake religion, all that. Yeah. Women, um, women love women love religion. Yeah, they love. Um, As a Jewish woman, I can confirm this. <laughs> uh huh. Um, they they love being they love uh, being supports. They love mm. supporting men. Mm -hmm. They love that. It's their favorite thing. Um, they love being like kind of horny for dog I boys. Like bottle. Um, but also scared of them. That's probably true for a lot of women, actually. Um, I'm just saying what this game thinks. Women right. Are. Okay. That's that's fair. This is what the game uh, says. Yeah. Um, they are. Uh, they really like. Uh, the men with long hair also. Um, okay. Uh, based on Rubia liking Tilkis and Arya liking Blondie, whatever his name is. Sorry, Blondie. What's his name? Prince Til or what's he? The uh, the knight guy, uh, Albert. Oh, Al whatever his oh, name is. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, wait, yeah. like the evil one that we fought twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah, killed yeah. the bishop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Alistair? No, it's not Alistair. I think it's like way simpler than that. It's like Albert yeah. or something. Albert. Probably anyway, not Albert. They like that, and um, that's kind of everything that this game knows about women. Unless you can think of anything, Claire. Um, no, I think you covered it. Yeah, that's what women are. It's yeah. very simple. This game has decided. And really, women are, are as, as I can attest to for myself, women are simple. Very simple, very easy, no complicated things at all. Um, should I turn any of my weapons into elemental things? Mm. Oh wait, I have like a billion white shards. No purple shards though. That's interesting. Yeah, the lightning yeah. stuff, it seems really rare. Yeah. I guess that makes sense, because lightning it has no... Um, it's not good against anything. Wait, that's true. It's not good against anything. I guess Except it just lightning. maybe stuns. No, it's bad against lightning. It's good against lightning also. Is it? Lightning is super effective against lightning. I thought everything was bad against itself. Except lightning. Oh, okay. Also, I don't think things are bad events. I don't remember, actually. Yeah, so all of the pairs, so fire and water. Fire is good against water. Water is good against fire. Water is bad against water. Fire is bad against fire. But lightning's good against nothing except lightning. Yeah, lightning is the odd one out. There's three, there's, I think, three pairs. Uh, water and fire are a pair. Mm -hmm. Air and earth are a pair. Uh, light and dark are a pair, and then there's lightning. Yeah. Video games. Video games. Amazing music. Great. Really good stuff. Um, I don't want to go back and save now that I've healed everyone. I spent a precious hundred gold. Okay. I gotta say, uh -huh. obsessed with the fact that we went to a place, and then we went from there to another place. Yeah, wow. And that's had like video one games. important plot encounter, and neither of those places were important. Oh hey, it's the desert. Desert time. Wow. Hey, you know what? Mhm. Mm no, please keep going. I, I, it's time for Tilkis to be, or sorry, not Tilkis, Caius to see a desert for the first time in his life. It's desert as far as you can see. How does anyone survive in a place like this? It wasn't like this before the Beast War. That's when Optimus Prime arrived. Like I said before, this place was a verdant paradise a century ago. I wonder what happened for it to become like this. No one really knows what happened during the Beast War. The music is so loud right now. Like, I don't know if it's loud for the stream, but like, it's turned it's up for me. It's not super loud. 
Okay, it's just consistently like a, a, a noise in the background and it's, it's a very short loop. Anyways, but perhaps the church knows something given how they're gathering patience. But the church has sealed the desert off because of the danger. They even went far as, as far as building Eastgate for that purpose. If they figured something out a century ago, why are they only moving now? The Pope and the Inquisitors have only been pursuing the law of life for the past few years. That is rather strange. Nonetheless, if we can't safely cross the desert, nothing else matters. We have to be ready for anything. So... Where in the desert is Lymorn, anyway? If we go south, we'll reach Laris, the only city in the desert. Lauris? Lauris. Lauris, the only city in the desert. Treasure hunters in search of Lymornian treasure gather there. They should know more. So first we make for Loris, and then we search for Lymorn. So another thing I remember is, like, Forrest is in his, like, 40s, I think. Yeah. Um, Literally the I, oldest one here. I need yeah. to turn the volume down. Oh my god. Go ahead. So two things I want to say. The first was I was There's initially no gonna be like, setting. sorry. Sorry, go on. I was gonna say, the first thing I was gonna say was, hey, good for them for not using weird Orientalist desert music for their desert. Um, but uh -huh. we have not yet reached the desert town, so That's I don't think true. I think we still they still may take that L. Yeah, um, I have a feeling they might. Second thing I'm gonna say is, as Fenrir points out, there is just this patch of grass that just ends. Yeah, and it's just wild. I just want to know why. Oh my god. Um, I, well, you I just want to know why they designed it that way. That's as far as the light touches. I see. That's where the kingdom blah, blah, blah. ends. Yeah, yeah etc. Uh -huh. etc. Et et yeah. Oh shit! I'm. Oh, fuck. There's poison. Okay. Um, Ooh, poison! I really wish I could tell the like computers to like use their magic and what magic to use. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Do you think Ruby is gonna undo my? That's status a good test. Effect? Why are you using Rubia, by the way? Um, I I wasn't. Uh, I think it just reset my party so ah that's cool it decided I like that, that that's, for me that's yeah. so fun the way that that's how oh you did get healed of poison i did yeah rubia does have recover it turns out which is fortunate mm -hmm. she's not healing though mm -hmm. i'm sorry i mean she'll I heal you of poison but like you know right she's got she other won't... things to do also yeah like what Healing. Okay. Um. I'm gonna Vengeance. Murder. Um, I might do Tilkus for a while, since we had Forest for a bit. You could always do Tilkus, Forest, and Arya, but. That's true. Up to you. Actually, you know what? I haven't played as Forest, like except for like once. I think that would actually be nice. Um, then Caius and Rubia can have some alone time. A thing that is definitely not awkward right now. Yeah, this is the ideal time for that to happen. Yeah, yeah, I think this is this is what the game intended. Mm-hmm. Alright. I just really I, I know I note this every time, but I just I need you to know. I cannot move and turn the camera at the same time. Oh, are we going? Oh, we're going south, right? There's two dots, and I'm going, yeah, you're south, going south one. Right. Uh, oh, God, those look beefy. Okay. Uh, nope, that was the wrong... They probably poison you also. Does Arya have any heal poison spells? Um, that's a great question that I should have checked and didn't. Yeah, I would so... check that at the end of this battle because you're definitely going to get poisoned throughout this desert if your main enemy Almost is a poisoning certainly. enemy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I oh, I'm I'm stoned. As they say. Stoned. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and assume no because I would like to not have a status effect that basically makes me useless. Is there a specific? No, there's just an all status effects. All right. 
Do you think it'll just go away if I? I'm just gonna let. I'm just gonna give it some time. Yeah, we're testing. Okay, we're testing yeah, yeah, how yeah. It works. Cool. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah, okay. It's just a timed thing, so it sucks, but. It's fine. I didn't think they'd completely do it. Like nothing. You're dead. You're just stuck like that. But you know, yeah, this that game would has surprised suck. me before. <laughs> it would suck. A game, a thing that this game definitely tries to avoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Yeah, you're right. I should definitely make sure that Arya has recover right now. Yep. Uh, she does. She does have recover. Uh, but she doesn't have. She an does equip. not have an equip. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. So, we have sharpness, which I'm pretty sure raises attack. Yes, nurse, which, what does nurse do? Oh, nurse is just heal all. And then lightning. So, um, I'm definitely gonna replace nurse with recovery. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I, hmm. Do you, do you think Thunderblade is worth it? Given how these magics work, it costs three times. Do you think it does three or t more times amount of damage? Um, I don't know, but it probably looks cooler, which I think is enough reason. That's fair. It probably does look cooler. That's a great point. Um, She's barely using her, like, killing attack. Uh, damn, I have no arts as forest, so I have destruction, which I have set as my neutral B. And I have Crescent Strike, which is my up B. And then this is a combo destruction into Crescent Strike. And then a double Crescent Strike. And then more Crescent Strikes. Um, oh, here. There we go. Win below 50% yes. HP. Oh, it costs 80. Holy shit. That's cool, uh, he though. has like 150 TP though, so like, hell yeah. All right, let's save. Yeah, that's okay. sick. Um, this way? Yes. All right, we are vaguely going in this direction. The game said you're not actually. Oh, okay. Thanks, game. Oh, I can't throw these into the air. That's too bad. Don't you find combat in this game riveting? Oh god, I am triple surrounded. Okay, let me get out of here. Yeah, obviously, you're triple surrounded. That's riveting. <laughs> oh, did you see the Thunderblade? Sandworms I did, who that was wore cool. it best. Doing her tails. I do like the do I, I admittedly do like the dune worms. They are pretty I think cool. the dune worms are great. I as I would say a uh -huh. sandworm supporter. Um, <laughs> sandworms are great in no most sandworm cases. supporter. Mm -hmm. But I do think dune does them best. Um, shout out also to the Pokemon sandworm uh, orthworm. Um, There's a Pokemon sandworm. That's cool. Yeah, it's one of the new ones. Oh, oh god, I go slow in the desert. Brianna, <laughs> are you excited for the overworld encounters that will take even longer now that we go slow? Hey, reminder, you can save at any time in the overworld. Just a reminder. That's true. About that. Oh. Caius, could you teach me more about transforming? <laughs> you say Caius. Wait, I said fuck. <laughs> he looks into a mirror. <laughs> he just he just whispers, Caius, we have to talk. Uh, Caius, I'd like to explain our beast form to you. Please do. We Limornians can gain incredible power by transforming into beasts in battle. Our strength greatly increases and enemies crumble under our blows. However, we can't transform at will. Transforming requires our HP to be below 50% <laughs> because it saves 80 TP. Oh, I love talking about a different just category of person 
<laughs> in like a total caste system of or caste system of like like uh this fucking world where they are oppressed and i love to talk about them exclusively in game terms to describe how and when they become more powerful uh-huh and when they can do cool things in battle it does not make yeah. me feel weird at all right yeah in other words it's a last resort when you find yourself up against a wall when you find yourself in that desperate situation you'll feel something change within you when you do unleash that feeling but then but when you transform your tp will begin to drain when it reaches zero you'll revert to human form so be mindful of that and there's one last thing I should mention. The transformation is so... I almost slipped into, like, explaining board game voice because I feel like that's, that's what, what I'm you're doing, doing right now. <laughs> explaining your heritage like it's a board game. Uh... When you're Italian, you have a... You have a plus two. Wait, I just reinvented civilization. <laughs> Fuck shit. God damn it. Never mind. Carry on, Tales of Tempest. Fuck. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the transformation is so powerful that at times it may overwhelm you, causing you to rampage out of control. It's dangerous for anyone but another Limornian to try and put a stop to it. So, Caius. We should avoid transforming at the same time. Except when our health are below 50% and we have 80 TP each. I want you to promise me. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't understand any of what you said, but I promise. Caius learned beast transformation. Great. I just need to say. Yeah, uh-huh. What do you um, need to say? I think they're... If they weren't so weird in the way that they explain it. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's actually something quite compelling narratively about the right. idea that this group of people are stigmatized mm. and attacked and genocided for mm -hmm. a, a basically something that they do as a, a kind of mechanism to prevent like like something that happens like when they're in distress mechanism. a yeah. self yes thank you a self defense mechanism because it implies that there's only <laughs> really one way they would have fucking found out about that limornians are different are different hmm. is they were hurting them already and then they were like holy shit y'all fight really good when we try to hurt you now we're going to genocide you about this genocide you about this is quite a sentence i mean that's what they did but you're right i should, maybe i should put it differently but that is like that is what they did yeah i mean this is the thing narratively that's really interesting god i wish it was not being shared through the lens of a, again a, a fucking board jrpg game. yeah I feel like a fucking a, JRPG. not just like any jrpg because i feel like jrpgs could do a better job and probably other tales games do um but not this one i mean there's a way to be like when you're in danger you can find that you are able to to, to do this when you are hurt when you are hurt you will find that this is a thing that you can do but be careful right. it will drain your energy quite quickly right um to find out more you know i've written some information down for you in this book which you can read anytime to learn more about it. And I sell um, in 12 parts for $9.99 each. <laughs> and then the book is like a fucking menu you can look at to get the details mm. on how Beast Transformation works as a book. Yeah, yeah. That's, so what you're saying is like, don't exposition mechanics? It's not yeah, even exposition. Yeah, prioritize narrative. Yeah. This is again, you know, if we're if we're talking, we were talking TTRPG comparisons. Yeah. Um, this is what the. <laughs> it's as if in the class description they didn't give you details <laughs> on like the class, right? Or, or like specifically even a race, like specifically a race description here, right? They didn't sure. give you any details on the race, the species, whatever you want to call it, um, breed, they... whatever your word uh -huh. is. How um, your fantasy 
works. Yeah, how your fantasy thing talks about it. And instead of describing things about the culture, their like big blurb was just like, at 50% HP, <laughs> orcs can do yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand the rest of this game has been the... Now you joke, but a lot of games do do that. They just often also do the first thing. Don't know shit about them. True. They oh, also did we lose also you like for a second. I think you cut out in the middle of a sentence. Oh, I was just saying. Uh, on the one hand, this is the thing that they've been doing the rest of the game is what is a little right. morning and you know all this stuff. Right. But yeah. they haven't actually talked about their culture. Talked yeah, about no. who they are as a people, what values they have, what their resistance to. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, like to... we talked about how they're generally peaceful, but we haven't talked about like anything but how that peace was met with suffering. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right. Uh huh. Like, we don't know what a nice day in the life of a Limornian looks like. Yeah. We don't know what culturally they thought, believed in, valued. The things that would be more meaningful in terms of understanding who you that you are a member of that group if you're Caius, you know? Like <laughs> Right. Caius's engagement with being a Limordian so far is I thought this was my dad and it turns out he's not my real dad. That's making me feel weird. And also mechanically I can transform into a beast. Um I've never asked anyone like what is it? Are there cultural symbols I can wear to represent right. my Mornian heritage? Yeah. I've never asked anyone. I've never talked to someone about like, what yes. should I? What is the di the difference? What does this mean right. about me? What is? The, how am I actually different now? Not just physiologically, but emotionally, culturally, and like um, tr viewed by the world, approached. Yeah, by how am I being viewed by the world? Yeah, and. What is there for me to engage with in terms of having some form mm. of pride so, or sweat. love for who I am and for this culture and stuff? Like, there's not right. any of that. And, you know, he's not at that point yet, but... Yeah, no, he still has to learn beast transformation. <laughs> right, right. Again, it's, it's all mechanical. And, like, mm -hmm. you know, again, it's a JRPG from fucking the Nintendo DS era. But there are JRPGs that can do both, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think the era is a good excuse because this is after, um, uh, what is the JRPG that everyone wanted a sequel to for like 10 years and then got one? It's like Golden Sun or something. That seems right. Yeah. Uh, something of mana. I think it's World of Mana. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Remember. There's a man. There. Those are both ones. Those yeah. are both JRPGs, yeah. to my understanding. Uh -huh. I'm. I'm sure they are. Um, it's a Square Enix game. Enix. Enix. Mm -hmm. Um, Square Enix game. Uh, from like the 90s or 80s. So and like people loved the story. I've never played it, so I'm basing it purely off of pop culture enjoyment, which could mean jack shit. Uh huh. I'm looking it up now. List of Square okay. video games. Some Square, Square, video Square games. Enix. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. We are entering Lauras. Secret of Mana. Um, I think that's the sequel. Maybe it is that one though. Secret Maybe of Mana is, is from 1993. Okay, that must be it then. You're not thinking of Chrono Trigger. You're not thinking. I am of... thinking of Chrono Trigger actually. There you go. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Chrono Trigger, like, yeah, uh-huh. And, and, like, to be clear, we're several years on from mm -hmm. <clears throat> perhaps this one of the most influential... Later. Sorry? This is a decade later after these games. This is also, yeah, this is also a decade, nearly a decade on from Final Fantasy VII, the game that... That's true. Basically, you know... Um... <laughs> that, that, like, <laughs> for a lot of people solidified the idea that games could have meaningful story not as it was the first one to have that but it's solidified that in games um what is it yeah uh-huh i will admit gotta... i don't think i was expecting this game to do that either but it does it so badly i think it has to be said we're engaging oh, found... with the material hey, i found some money in this corner i'm just gonna take it is oh it yeah theirs? hey can no. i take 
Someone dropped like 50 gal here. Um, that's mine now. I'm just I'm just announcing to the store I'm taking this money. We're on a quest, you see, so it's fine. <laughs> uh oh JRPGs. Yeah. Um, alright, time to learn to cook fruit bowl recipe. A very local recipe that it's hard to learn. <laughs> Well, you gotta um, know what fruits to put in. Listen, I've thought true. sometimes, oh, what if I made a fruit bowl? And then I'm like, what fruits go to fruit bowl? Well, the fruits from the deserts, obviously. All the desert fruits that we know of. Mm-hmm. 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 Here, let's buy some of these. Um, yeah, we have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Increase? I don't necessarily want to increase. We have a lot of decrease in counter rates now. I yeah. never use them. You maybe should, since you get annoyed by them. Yeah, but also then I'll be underleveled, and then I'll hate boss fights. Oh, true. Good point. Good point. Ooh, what are these? Oh, that might be actually useful. Is oh, that a single use? That does or is seem that... useful. Yeah, I think I uh -huh. think I am going to. Oh, one thing I've noticed: if you open the details and then you move to another item. And then you close the details, mm -hmm. it takes you back to where you open the details. LOL. A great, again, the UX, just stunning. Stunning stuff. Just stunning stuff here. I'm gonna do the great thing I do here. in Pokemon. I buy five of every status healer. Uh-huh. As and one does. And then I pretty much never think about it ever again. Except, what, like, the rare times that I need them, and then I buy one more. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. All right, cool. We have status healers, so we have status healers. Um. All oh right, I can't save because we're in a town. Um. Uh, where am I going? In here? No. But this is a weapons place, so I think I should talk to them. Mhm. Mm that seems right. Um. This seems good. I feel like I should stop buying things because. I'm it's all now, just gonna I'm be not, good. It's just like everyone immediately needs to buy more things. I don't even have, have enough money anymore. <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Now here's the thing. Uh huh. I can only buy two. I don't. Th Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna buy the one for the supports because I don't have them attack very often. Um. That makes sense. This is how prejudice reasonable. ends up giving money to the most profitable. <laughs> God, really makes you think. Really makes you think. I think, I think I'm gonna get. I mean, it makes no sense to get this one when this one is fourteen hundred more and it does almost twice as much. Um, I'm gonna get Caius's and Forest because I think they're my. Um... Oh, and also I have to buy the Labrys. Uh, uh, Forest yeah, is Forrest. a lesbian confirmed. Forest is a lesbian confirmed. Forest is a confirmed. lesbian confirmed. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very important stuff. Extremely important stuff. I don't think we've found an armorer in like a long time. Yeah, I don't think so either. I have to be. Caius forever now, you understand. Right. Wait, why? Because he's holding a Labrys. Oh, you mean Forrest. You said Caius. Fucking hell. You're mixing them up because they're both Limornia and Claire. That's No! Really, that's not good. That's not a good thing to do, Claire. Oh, uh, I don't know what's up with my brain today. I'm just, like, dyslexing everyone's name. Oh... <sighs> I've done that. Caius, this is like the Forrest. third time I've done that today. You have, yeah. It's all right. These things happen. I'm sure they'd understand. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. These are accessories. Well, I guess now I have five of each. <laughs> so they could all wear the same type if I wanted. Not that I want them to, but you know. It's kind of cute. Yeah, if there's a boss that exceptionally sucks to fight against and has a status effect, I guess I have a full party worth, even though I really only need three, because I can only have three at a time. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They all get sharing um... accessories. Ice goes on a shopping spree, <laughs> I guess. Yes, exactly. <laughs>
That's the game. That's the video game. Instead of thinking about again <laughs> intercommunity cultural practice sharing. Now, now I feel like suppressing um the intense things that you learn about yourself in favor of going on a shopping spree is very relatable to me at least. No, this seems right. Yeah, I feel this. Okay, I didn't go into this one, I think. Oh. 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 I'm gonna steal from oh. I'm gonna steal a life bottle from this child. Oh cool. That's normal. Yeah. Does the game have the thing where you get less money for selling a thing than the thing costs? Oh, almost certainly. God, that'd be funny if that wasn't the case, though. I mean, I, I some. Uh, what are the games? There are some games that like it's like on par. Um, True. Which is, We've, in yeah. my opinion, good UX because if you accidentally buy something, then you just sell it again. Yeah, um, I'm with you. Weirdly enough, Borderlands is actually a game that does this really well because there's like a buyback. Um, oh, menu. Yeah, true. so like if you sell yes. something, you can buy it. You sell it for a reduced cost, but you buy it back at the reduced cost also. Right, I see. Yeah, this makes sense. Did you guys come from the outside? That's so cool. I wish I could go outside. Why can't you? If I go out in the sunlight, I get burned really bad. I'm a vampire. The moonlight's bad for me, too. Uh, so I've always got to stay inside. Oh... The doctor told me if we get a sand lily from the desert, it could make me better. But the desert is full of monsters, so nobody wants to go. I'll get it for you. Really? You promise? You have to do it, okay? I heard here the sand lily grows in rocky areas. I'll be waiting for you. I guess we're helping this child. I feel better about that than the priest. Way better. This Way is better. wild. She can't go in the sunlight or the moonlight? God. Yeah, that you, sucks. you simply can't refuse the child. It I have a question. Give you the Where's yeah, this kid's up? parents? They're probably the parents is probably the uh innkeeper. I see. Why did they come here and why can't the innkeeper just go? They don't wanna. Nobody wants to go. Nobody wants to leave into the desert. Shitty apparently. parents, I gotta say. I don't say. know how they get food and whatnot imported, but nobody goes into the desert ever. Fuck that. Uh, su supposedly the desert formed around the ruined city of Limorne. They say Limorne is in the heart of the desert, but there are monsters everywhere. Most people never make it that far. Some people say the spirits of the departed light can't still haunt the city. The only people who still go there are looters. Uh, oh, you have a debilitating condition that is solved by a quick fetch quest. Now we can make more kids. Uh, uh, love to cure um, all of my ills by going on a fetch quest. God, I um, wish. God, I wish. I just want... <laughs> I would go... Where do I need to go? Where do I... Just tell yeah, me where I need to go uh -huh. and I'll go. Just, just tell me yeah, where. Uh-huh. No ships um, are running right now. Apparently, the Archduke was assassinated in Janna. <laughs> Shit. Wild. Okay, it's probably better to stay here and avoid that mess anyway. So, uh, bye! Wait, what? Why w would we stay here? Oh, is this the uh, ship to Janna, maybe? This must be like a Yeah, it's the ship to Janna, obviously. Did you not obviously. pick that up from context clues? Listen, no. I love context clues. I mm. am... I love my what? What was that? Oh, he's just fading away. He's still talking. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We were supposed to come here, right? And then find out where Limorn is. Oh, right. I guess we have to just talk to everybody. I found some ancient documents in one of the houses here. <laughs> you won't believe this, but it talks about a treasure hidden in Limorn. If I can find that treasure, I'll be set for life. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, I guess that was the person to talk to. That was. Based on what we've heard, I guess Slimehorn was in the heart of the desert. Indeed. But that doesn't mean we'll find it easily. We need to make sure and uh, make sure and resupply before heading out. I know, don't worry. I kind of did that uh, already. Yeah, Fen makes a really good point here. The game is all, no one's out there in the desert at Eastgate, but now we're in a town that's on the coast. <laughs> did we leave the desert when I wasn't looking? 
Also, um, I will say, they also did not do weird orientalist That's true. Music, no. So they this is one of, of the reuse... game's rare Ws. Yeah. Um... How the hell do I get armor? I feel like I haven't seen an armor salesman in like a thousand years. Yeah, I don't think you have. I think I think you're just done. Yeah. No this... armor for you. <laughs> they give you armor at the start of the game and that's it. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Um, we do have to take a break in, in a minute or two. Oh, we do. We totally do. I was gonna try and monitor that and yeah. Uh, so now might be a good time to do that. Uh, so we'll be right back, and I guess we're gonna go back to the desert. A thing that everyone's very excited for here. Definitely desert. me. I'm excited. Desert. Desert. All right, be right back. All right. Here we are. The last stretch Welcome of the back. desert. We're definitely gonna be done this desert after this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think this is it. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, I don't think we're ever coming back to the desert. I don't think we're ever going to be in the desert again. I'm All right, let's get that dessert. <laughs> um, where's okay. the dessert? Oh, I see a sand. That is the... That is the... Okay. All right. So it's in the middle, vaguely. That's they didn't it. put something on the map? They didn't. I have a feeling it's one of those dots. Do you see, like, the dots vaguely in the middle? I think you're probably right. Yeah. I think you start going, you know, towards the middle and eventually get there. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay. I... All right. So one thing we need to look at is the texture of this very detailed map. Um, yeah. Because if you look, the ledge in front of me is like this gray line on the map. So in order to get to that dot, I think I have to go right and then like loop down and then around and up. So do you are are you going north or or south? I, I think I'm gonna go south because I'm yeah, not convinced I like this idea. north will take me there. Yeah, um, I think I think that's the right call. Yeah. And if it's the wrong call, I'll suffer simply. Yeah. As one does. As in the desert. Does. A normal re Oh my god, my axe so big now. Look at it's her. It's so Look big. At her. You're never getting rid of this Labrys, even if there's a dip better weapon stat-wise. Oh, I'm just going to use the game's actual mechanics from now on and combine weapons, and it's always going to be the Labrys. Hell yeah. I love this. Um So, here's a question that um I asked a friend once, uh and then she turned it into a better question. The original question was, um, if you were a sword, what sword would you be? The the better question is, if you were if you were or had we uh, like a special set of weapons, what would your weapon set be? Who are you this in a is... JRPG? Right. Uh huh. Who am I in a JRPG? Yeah. Um, it is of course a staff for me. Um, oh. I mean, I literally walk with a cane. Mean <laughs> I thought you were just gonna leave the sentence at that. I literally walk. Uh, you I know? um, I do think. Okay, here's the thing. I think realistically, it is probably a pretty cool, fancy, like staff. Um, sure. Yeah, like a Gandalf staff. Like a Gandalf staff. I mean, I did. This is a fun fact. Before I used my cane, um, I used a walking stick. I just walked around. With a walk with a giant walking stick so i basically already did that um so there's that yeah. um, <laughs> um that said i think there's lots of different i think there's lots of different potential ones um i think it's probably staff what about you claire oh i i <clears throat> i just want to say the fact that you walked around with like uh, a staff already just Obviously, you're cool. Um, that's uh, thank just you. A thing I that don't cool think I was. Do. I don't think other people uh, agreed, but I don't think I, I care like about idea. what people think. Thank you. Yeah, staff is big wizard vibes. Brianna the big wizard. Uh huh. You show up and you're like, I'm gonna do thunder. Okay, okay. Important question, because I was like, you could do thunder. What spells do you cast? Um, I cast, um. 
I think I cast, like... Hmm. I think I cast, like, um... Spells of... Like... Warp... Reality... <laughs> type vibes. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I don't think You're it's, like... like a reality bending... I Maybe. think that's more of the vibe is like okay rather than something like mm. you you uh you hit with beam it's more like you you just like kind of fuck with the world around you oh, okay so like like a an illusions mage almost I think illusions mage is probably the 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 right type of vibe um, cool. I think at a certain point you're just, when you become a high enough level illusions mage, I think you're just you kind of doing that, fucked up. You stuff. are yeah. reality warping, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think that may actually be true in like D and D. Like I genuinely oh. think that that's actually a true fact. I don't know fact. anything about D and D other than what Divinity Original Sin teaches me, which is turn orders. That's what I've learned. Fair. Yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> um, what about you, Claire? Um. So I did have like a, so the reason for this question started off as like, I want, I want like a tattoo on my like upper arm of like a sword. Um, and so mm -hmm. like, I was like, oh, what are, like, what am I as a sword? Um, mm -hmm. and the reason for that, oh, I found it. It's right there. Do, do you see oh, it yeah, in there the it distance? Is. There it is. I just got to uh -huh. get to it. By the way, I was right. It's the dot. I just need to get to it somehow. Yeah. <clears> good luck. Hmm. Um, and so, um, my answer is a one and a half hand sword, um, if, uh, which is a sword that can be used with either, like, one or two hands, basically, um, depending on, like, you know, how much weight you want to put behind it, etc. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, um, also a Labrys that I only take out when I respect the strength of my opponent, so I'm dual wielding a one and a half hand sword and a Labrys. Mm-hmm. That's sick. That's so cool. Yeah. You have I, a secondary I, secondary weapon. Yeah. I have excellent. a second phase. This is the important part. Oh, incredible. <laughs> yeah. That's that's great. I think Yeah. I think I am nothing if not extra. Yeah, absolutely. Um I like to imagine that my if i have a secondary thing it is just like a cloak that does Ooh. weird shit there's no is it like the dragon ball z cloak where you take it off and you're like way more powerful i don't think so i think it's more like a cloak that can slice you uh oh that's cool i like that yeah so you like twirl around and god i'm poisoned again you sure are i sure am um i green Fen, what are your character designated character weapons? Sword Rain Beta. I got the Beta Rain. Ooh, Sword Rain Beta. This Rain is such a Beta. Um, <laughs> let's stop talking. This Sword Rain Beta. Yup. Uh, let's see. How do I do Beta Sword Rain? Extend Hell Rush with Rising Falcon. Alright. Oh. A, a wiffle bat filled with concrete and Molotov cocktails. <laughs> Sick! A Sick! Wiffle? I don't. Oh God, I need to Google a wiffle bat. A wiffle bat is like a plastic bat with some holes in it, usually. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Filled with concrete? Yeah. Okay. I feel you. I, I think like the I'm Molotovs the are separate. Way. I think the Molotovs are the secondary weapon. Um, also, I know you <laughs> said earlier that you said something stupid like Wolverine Claws. Wolverine Claws are sick. That's not stupid. That's sick. Yeah, that. I think those are good. Yeah, you gotta have a ranged weapon and then an, an up-close one. Oh, God. Um. Oh, as I was... I was so... Uh, Charlie also started playing Moonlighter, and one of the things in it is, like, you get the, like, gloves. Though I guess Hades has gloves, too, so that's, like, a better reference for you. Um, I love Hades. I think the gloves are potentially uh, one of the best weapons. 
They're pretty good. I I think the gun is still better, but I think the gloves are really good. Um, I actually think the gun is one of my least favorite, like, weapons. <clears throat> it's very strong, though, you see. <laughs> that is true. My first clear was, like, the first time I used the gun. The gun is strong. It's also, f I think it's fun to use, personally. But we've we talked about Hades many, yeah. many a time. Um, yeah. I do want a setting and l where it would be totally normal to have someone who uses a wizard staff and magic cloak, someone who uses <laughs> a labrys and a sword, someone who has wolverine claws, and someone <laughs> who has party. a wiffle bat I've with, a, with concrete Molotov con and Molotov cocktails. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, this is the party. This is the party. Arguably, that's like, if you were to make a video game, I think in the world of like Dream Askew, that is what you'd end up with. Mm. I have a very high feeling that the Molotov cocktails are gonna be our ranged weapon and probably our only ranged weapon. Hey, uh, Arya, my staff can do ranged me. shit. Um, I guess, yeah, yours is a weapon. I consider your magic. Uh, more the weapon. True, good point, good point, good point. Yes. Um, but yeah, I would definitely be melee. Um, and I guess claws are also extremely melee. I respect people who, and this is going to sound like I am making a dig, and I'm being very genuine <laughs> here. Um, I respect people who are like, yeah, in a fantasy setting, I'd want to be a melee fighter. Um, because I think that shows commitment and you? that shows who you who you are. I can't be um, a melee fighter in real life. Actually, that's not true. I want to take sword fighting lessons. Yeah, I was going to say, oh! <laughs> Tilkis just went to the top of the <laughs> Zoom in on Tilkis right He's there. Just taken taking a break. Uh, but yeah, no, that's like, the to me, that's like, that's so good. It's just like, you know? Um, yeah. It's like, I, I say this knowing that I have, in fact, played fighters and stuff like that in various tabletop games. Um, and I mean, that's not real life, though. True, 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 true. I am a very much, if it was a fantasy setting, I want magic, I want cool magic, I want weird magic, I want cool magic. Mm. Oh. Person. Oh. Well, it's, it's night time. I don't trust it. Gotta save. Gotta save. All the terrible enemies are coming out now. So these right. ones were just fine before? These ones were, yeah. I mean, that's what the game said. A mechanic that we encounter very often in this game is at night the enemies are harder. Um, also, uh, as Plethorian has said, the claws can have projectile darts or something inside of them for range. I like oh. this. Oh. Well, that, I guess um, that just makes me... Not even the tank, because I don't have a shield. I'm just the, like, double-handed uh, warrior. You can have some armor. We could give you armor. No, I want leather armor. Like, I guess that's armor, but I want to be speedy. Uh-huh. Fair. Um, also, uh, Ben, I am not sure what game system uh, she's connected to. What? The, um... Fenrir saying, what's the game system Margaret Killjoy is connected to? So they definitely Who? have the specific message in it. Um, author, I can't. I'm trying to remember specific facts about people. I love facts um, about people. Is this the wrong? I'm not walking. Okay, I walk towards the wrong thing. No, it's this way. It's right there. I walk towards the wrong thing. We're almost there, everybody. <laughs> We're almost we there. We just got a few hundred more fights in us. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, let me kill the bird. Get that bird. Can I turn into a... I can. Hell yeah. You didn't really need to do that for the bird, but I like that. I didn't. Oh, my TP goes down really fast at this point. Oh my god, it does. It's like a, it truly is a beast it, mode, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, That's author of the lamb will slaughter fights. the lion, trans li lives in the woods, does anarchy, trans lives in the woods, does anarchy stuff. Yes, the lamb will slaughter the lion. 
a book that is on my to-read list that I need to read. Um, I like Trans Lives in the Woods as one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that sounds good to me. I like all of these things. This sounds mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pro, pro. Actually, I am going to save as I approach. I have learned my lesson. Mm -hmm, At least mm -hmm. for tonight, and then I will immediately forget it next time. So I suspect tonight we are going to be entering Laymorn, experiencing whatever Laymorn the start of this has to offer, and, and then, then probably calling, probably calling, it. calling yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Who should I take into Laymorn? Is this not a squad to take into Laymorn? Uh, I. I don't know if I want to bring Arya into Laymore, and I don't really respect her. You're right. I think you should. She take is our Rubia. best healer. The thing is, okay, I don't but here's want to the take Rubia either. I want to take Caius and Forrest and Tilkus, which is a terrible idea. Why does Tilkus need to go? Let me ask you this. He had some relationship with Laymore. He didn't remember. though. It's for he didn't? uh he. He's from another... He's just the prince of some other kingdom that the church oh. also fucked with. Forrest is the one with the connection to Laymorn. Yeah, okay. Maybe maybe it's Caius and Forrest and Rubia for a while. Fair enough. You understand, Tilkis and Arya are still going to be there. Shrug. <laughs> um... But they won't be there, be there. You know, they won't be right. doing stuff. They'll be out of sight, out of mind. Shove them in the corner and be like, please don't talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh... Rubia can say a few words, maybe, depending on how she's being. Right. As long as they're not about Lemornians. Uh-huh. Boom. Oh, oh. Hey, those are some Lemornians. I really hope we're not going to fight them. That would suck so much. There's people. They're, they didn't genocide all of them. That's great. I love Amazing. that. Oh, maybe the desert is like a defense mechanism. Like, please stay the fuck away from our town. You. Oh my oh, god, wait. they're all stoned. They're not. They're all dead. Oh no. Well, that oh, this sucks. Is... This oh, this sucks. sucks. So hard. This sucks. This is Lamorn. It feels more like a graveyard. I'm scared. I feel like I'm being watched. The Limornians. The Limornians here have turned to stone. Their pained expressions remain on their faces even now. It's almost like their souls were yanked out of them. This certainly isn't somewhere I'd like to stay longer than necessary. It's clear something extraordinary happened here during the Beast War. The church forbid anyone to enter Laymorn to keep anyone from finding out what. That's not suspicious at all. It's been over a century since the Beast War. The records of the war were burned and any witnesses are dead. All we know for sure is that a giant patient, that means magic, was created during the war. This is the only place I can imagine the church learning of the life of law. La wait, no, wait, fuck. <laughs> I'm not fixing that. Okay, uh... You know when you go into law school and you study the life of law? Okay, um... <laughs> let's look around the city and see if we can find any clues. Great. I'm well, begging Arya to just once say the sentence, what happened to the Limordians was horrible. What? Begging her to say this. What was the sentence? I missed. What happened to the Limordians oh, was horrible. Oh, I see. Yeah. What the church would... did was terrible. It would be nice. Uh, do we want to call it here? Or do we want to, like, search? Um, what do you think? I think I would be fine with still going. I have a suspicion that would mean at least a minimum of, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe we end here and we give Limorn space. You know, yeah. we give Limorn a chance to breathe. We pop out 
in do some do some Limorn stretches shit next time. We we do some breathing for whatever the narrative is about to be. Yeah, and let's you know you know there's gonna be, be some clear. story. Let's be clear. If we have been already in the space of this shit is a weird bad metaphor for <laughs> race. Um yeah. I think it's about to, it's about get, to get worse. worse. Yeah. So be aware of that. Yeah, um, I'm I'm don't know how it could get worse, but I believe in this game to make it worse. I want to say we have a really uh, uh whenever we say that at the end of a session. Right. Um such as when we did with Mass Effect Andromeda, we've always been right. So let's let's you know. Yeah. Uh, the tabletop RPG was Penumbra City by Strangers in a Tangled Wilderness. That's I think cool. the racist music is gonna be when you're in Limornia. Fuck yeah. We're in Limornia. There hasn't been racist music yet, but but we're we'll like see. on the outskirts of Limornia. We're like true. Not in the city yet, though. Th we kind of only have city music. Like this is just yeah. a song that is for city. For I think city. we may have avoided this one, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, we will not be back next week, but we will be back we, the week after. Yes, we will. We will be back next week. We will not will be we? back the week after. Okay, we'll be back next week. Uh, I will update the, the schedule. Um, and uh, We yeah, will be no. back next week. Right. I'm pretty sure I, I, I posted something. I don't know if it's accurate. Um, I'll post a thing again, and so we will be back next week. That's at least for back sure. Back next week. All right. See y'all. Bye. See y'all. Bye.